This video today is going to do a deep dive into gauges. Now this gauge right here is for measuring inches of vacuum. And this gauge over here, which is digital, measures microns and pascals. This is basically the standard English system. and This is the metric system. Now the maximum amount of vacuum that can be achieved on Earth in the, in the, with inches is 29.2. 92 inches of mercury or basically 30 inches of mercury that is considered one atmosphere in the metric system it's 760 millimeters of mercury now this vacuum gauge right here can be used but only for rough vacuum this vacuum is not accurate enough to get down into the millitors like the 500 millitors that is required for freeze drying so if you have a vacuum like this, it's really not going to do the job because it's just too coarse. So this gauge is out. If you really want to get into measuring your vacuum on your vacuum pump or freeze dryer, you need to go with a digital vacuum gauge that will measure pascals or millitor. And for this purpose, we're just going to refer to millitor. Now this gauge right here, made by Hilmar, cost me about $119. And I'm not suggesting for anyone to go out and spend $119 on an already expensive freeze dryer. But if you're having a problem with vacuum and vacuum leaks, you almost have to have a gauge like this to measure the vacuum coming off your vacuum pump accurately to see if your vacuum leak is from the freeze dryer or your vacuum pump just doesn't have the ability to create a high vacuum. A meter like this is almost definitely required. I have received lots of comments in my emails on my YouTube channel about how to use this and how to hook this up to a vacuum pump. And we're going to go into that to show you what fittings are needed to go from the Harvest Right fittings to this fitting right here. There are two fittings you're going to need to be able to hook this micron gauge onto a Harvest Right freeze dryer. There's just two parts. There's this part right here, which is an adapter, and this little part, which is a coupler. First of all, we need to explain what JIC fittings are. Now, they're primarily used in hydraulic work involving very high pressures. Now, the JIC scale is in 1 16th of an inch. So this fitting right here, which goes on the Harvest Right freeze dryer, is basically a three-quarter inch diameter. So in a JIC, if you take that, it takes 12 one sixteenths units to make three-quarters of an inch. So this is a number 12. A one inch would be known as a number 16. So this is a number 12 on this side. And to come down to the smaller size, this is a number four fitting or you could say a quarter inch. And this part right here is a number four coupler. So there's a, it's, it's four units of a sixteenth on this side and four units of a sixteenth on this side. So this is a number four. The fitting on the micron gauge will be traditionally also a quarter inch, but this is a quarter inch SAE flare fitting. So it's flared on the tip of this. Now the flare fitting on an SAE fitting is just about the same as on a JIC fitting. So using the coupler will go right onto this without any problem and seal quite well. And then this adapter goes onto the coupler like so. And using this unit, you can test your vacuum pump and your vacuum hose to see if there's any issues with leaks or if your vacuum pump is pulling the vacuum you need for freeze drying. I bought these parts from a company online called Hose and Rubber Supply. The Micron gauge cost me about $120 and you can find them anywhere for a really cheap one, maybe around $100 up to several hundred. And I got this from Amazon. It's important not to over tighten these fittings. They're flared fittings so they, they seal quite easily. You don't need to use any Teflon tape so please do not over tighten these fittings. Just make them snug. 
Once the vacuum gauge is attached to the vacuum pump, you can go ahead and turn it on. It will first display the model number and then the amount of microns or millitors, which is 760. Then if we turn on the vacuum pump, we can draw down the vacuum. So in just a matter of seconds, I went from 760 all the way down to oh, around 40, maybe even, maybe even a little bit less than 40 into the high 39s. I've had this vacuum pump for four years and it is still pulling a really good vacuum. So if I have any vacuum issues with my freeze dryer, I know the issue is not with my vacuum pump. And that's the whole reason of having the micron gauge is to eliminate the vacuum pump from any vacuum issues or other problems you may have with your freeze dryer. If you go to holesandrubber.com, if we put the part number in for 2406-12-04 and hit search, it will take you to this page here. Now this line right here is not an accurate drawing. So don't get too excited if you don't see your part here. Now this part is made by Brennan. And if you want to go to their website, you can see a picture of the part right here. This is the number 12 fitting that is female. They'll go on to your freeze dryer. And if you swing it over, this is the number four male JIC. They'll go up to your adapter. Now if we bring up the picture of the adapter, same thing here, number four on that side, and this is a four on that side. So one will go from your adapter, the other one will go over to your micron gauge. Price for the adapter is $7.38. It's a little bit more than when I paid for it a while back. If you take a look at this item number, this item number is ex explained by this is a number four male thread JIC by a number 12 female thread JIC. If we bring up the part number for the coupler, which is 6565-04-04, you'll see the part right here in this little picture. And that is, a, and the part number up here is a number four female JIC adapter by a number four female JIC adapter. Current price on that is $8.57. So you can either go to holesandrubber.com to get your prices or any shop that deals with hydraulic hoses that might be near you should be able to give you the same parts. Now if you really want to get creative, and by all means if you're new to freeze drying you don't need to do something like this, but if you want to keep track of your vacuum while you're running your batch, then you can do a setup like this. I have a, a stainless steel T right here, going into a stainless steel nipple, going into a JIC fitting that goes onto my pump, and my hose for my Harvest Right freeze dryer comes on to this adapter right here, and then I have my micron gauge set up like this. And so with this type of a setup, I can compare my Militor readings here against the Militor readings on my Harvest Right. And this will be a little bit more accurate. The vacuum gauge that Harvest Right uses can be accurate, but it can't, it can't adjust as quickly as this can. There's a little bit of lag time with the Harvest Right system. But this will let me know at any point in time what my true Militor readings will be on my freeze dryer. But like I said, this is really not necessary. It's just something I threw on here just to keep track of my vacuum pump. But anyway, thank you for your time. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and maybe it answered some of your questions. Please subscribe and I'll send you a new video soon and go forth and freeze dry the world.